Hello, everybody. Welcome, 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 everybody to the stream. All right, so in this stream, basically what we're going to do is we're going to draw with the impossible presses. And nothing big planned here, but we're just going to sort of go over how they work and what you can do with them. I'll ask you a couple of questions and uh, let, yeah, let's just have a nice time and draw something. Good morning, The Strive Gaming and Jade. Hey, hey. So, first thing to mention, I do have a giveaway happening for these brushes. So if you are interested in picking up these brushes and drawing with me, you can check out the description. It's going to be a giveaway. I have a couple of brushes there um, that you can pick up for free. And we'll see if, uh, if there's enough demand, then I'll add to that maybe later. For the rest of you, if you're watching this in the future, it's going to be a 30% discount on these brushes the whole week. So if you happen to miss the live stream, then uh, that's at least that's at least that. Okay, so let's just dive right into it. And let's create a new canvas. Just going to make a screen sized canvas here. And turn the background color black. The thing about the impossible press pack is that if you have a white canvas, they don't really pop out all that much. You can maybe see it here. Do we have a black canvas? To me, at least, it's a totally different story. So where are you all from? Where are you coming from? Where are you watching this? Love to know. Okay, so we have a black canvas. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and add a drawing guide. I'm going to make the drawing guide quadrant. And now we have a quadrant drawing guide. I feel like this really, really works with the impossible brush pack. You just see the sort of things that you can do with it. Netherlands, Texas, New Hampshire, Serbia, Yorkshire, England. That's so cool. Awesome. Yeah, so if you're if you're interested, uh, there's a giveaway for those that are just joining. There's a giveaway happening, so you can use the code in the description to get these brushes for free. Okay, so let's just draw something. And uh, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions while we're at it. Because one of the things that I've been very, very scratching my head against is, what am I doing right now? I mean, sure, I'm... I'm using my pencil to draw on the iPad? Or am I, like, is this drawing? Would you say that this is drawing? Is it composing? Is it, I'm really struggling to find the right word here. So I'm just gonna start by using the memories brush here. It's creating. Yeah, creating, but creating, you can create so much. You can create sculptures. That's not necessarily exactly this that I'm doing. What is this specifically? Doodling, creating an abstract. Yeah, that's a good point, abstract. But you can you can draw an abstract with, uh, with just a, you know, gloss brush or something like that. I can make abstract here. But all of these strokes are intentional. I, I plan to make all of these strokes. I plan to use this color here and then mix it in this way. But with the impossible press pack, almost almost everything is sort of happens by, um, what do you say? Like a, 
accident almost. I didn't I didn't draw this in. Doodle doodling? A lot of you are saying doodling. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's a <laughs> it's an interesting interesting thing. Okay, so um as I said, I like to use black background for the impossible brush. It really makes them stick out. Another thing to keep in mind is that the canvas size uh, needs to be um, sort of approximately screen size. If you if you're using a huge canvas like A3 Plus um, and start drawing on that, the strokes are really really small, as you see. So you really have to zoom in to get all the details. But I feel it works best around screen sized. Your brushes feel industrial to me. Yeah, industrial. It's hand drawing, but you're. <laughs> it's hand drawing, but you're interfacing with a machine. Mm -hmm. Good point. Yeah, that's a good point. You're interfacing with the Procreate brush machine, and uh, that's what making. Let's make this happen. Oh, that's a weird sentence. That's what makes this happen. So, uh, yeah, let's just let's just make something. So, here I'm using Think Outside, and let's just add. I like to use the harmony here to see where the opposite color is. So, just add a bit of blue to it. And one of the interesting things about the Impossible Brush Pack is that it, let me just show you, um, let me pick a color here. So when I draw like this, when I draw on top of it, It interfaces with the paint that is below. You can also use it to smudge. You see, I'm just drawing very, very light strokes right here. So I'm using it now to smudge. There's nothing happening, like I'm not rendering anything on the canvas. I'm just drawing in the area that I want the brush to appear into right now. But while I'm doing that, I can smudge a little bit. If I completely erase this and Start drawing like this. Let's just say I push a little bit harder down right here and I render something on the canvas. Okay. Now, this isn't final. I can still keep adding. I just need to keep the pencil moving because once I stop, Procreate says, oh, you want to create um, a smart shape or quick shape. So you can actually, <laughs> I'm not sure if Procreate will handle that, but Oh, may have crashed. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay. Whoa. Okay. So let me just show you again. Do something like this. Because once you stop the Apple Pencil, it'll snap into this mode, so. But if you just keep it moving a little bit like this, it won't do that, so I tend to create the area first, and then once I'm happy with the area, I press a little bit harder down. There we go. Now I can take this shape, for example, use warp, just drag that here, drag that there, there. Let's pick some yellow here. Which iPad is this? This is the iPad Pro 2018 version, I think it was. Switching to a new brush here called Dream. Oh, and let's remove the drawing assist now.
And here's another thing. If you don't like what's what the brush just rendered, you can just do light strokes on top of it and it'll switch to an eraser mode. So you have both. You're able to draw and erase in the same stroke and smudge. So first we draw and then we erase. And if we go over an area that has already been rendered, we can smudge. It's going to create another area for us. The outlines here. But yeah. What is the name of your brushes? These are the impossible brushes. So I call these brushes impossible because for the longest time it has been impossible for me to explain how they work and really what the value of using them is because on the one hand yes like these are um, abstract industrial brushes uh, kaleidoscope and they're sort of random in nature unpredictable but what is the value of that why do you need unpredictability and uh, randomness in your art like if, you, if you're painting a face like, do you really need uh, things to be random so Somebody suggested to me that they are they're time saving because you can create a lot in a very short amount of time. For example, I'm going to show you one of the brushes that I'm working on right now. So these are new. This is going to be coming out with the version six um, Impossible Press Pack. So it's coming out soon. Um, I'm going to be releasing a video, a full blown tutorial explainer video for how to use these and. Uh, I'll launch these brushes with with that. So let me just show you. These are really, really special because with such a little amount of work, you can just create all of this detail. Like that was what? 10 seconds or something. Check that out. They impress me every single time that I use them. Anytime that I think I, <laughs> I know what I'm doing, I start using these brushes and it's like, it's like these brushes have an artwork contained within them, but that artwork is locked behind the layer of unpredictability and randomness. And it's just delightful. I just love using these. And you can use them for, uh, I don't know how, exactly how to describe it, but sort of, you can force them into known, known patterns. For example, let me just create something like this and let's add a little bit of yellow to it. And something like this. Now I'm going to warp it. Move it into place, something like this. Just add that advanced mesh here. Okay. So I've got this weird thing right here. Looks sort of 3D, right? I'm going to morph this a little bit using the liquify function and just going to first remove the drawing assist and I'm going to spend it to my will. <laughs> so let's see, do something like
sort of resembles a woman with long hair right now. So I'm going to use the adds brush and see what happens when I use adds on some of these sort of random shapes right here. So if I just hone in the, on the eye right here, for example, where the eye would be. And let's just try to uh, find where the eyebrow would be, somewhere around here. And we use the adds brush around the eyebrow area, just make sure that the brush size is correct. We can create sort of the adds for the eyebrow. It's a little bit weird right now, but the eyes you can sort of create shapes within the randomness by using the liquify function and you can push and do something like this all sorts of things that you can do <laughs> okay so Crisis procreate. That's all, folks. Yeah. Um, yeah. Where are the brushes available? Yeah, you can check these brushes out in the description. Uh, there's a giveaway happening right now, so I have uh, some brushes available for free. But there's going to be a discount for these the whole week. So if you want to pick this up, you can check that out. So. Okay, I have a question for you. So if, if you were to call your friend right now and try to explain what these brushes do over your phone, what would you say to your friend? How would you, <laughs> how would you explain what is happening with these brushes over the telephone? I'm really, really trying to put these brushes into words because it's, they're so weird. This one, this one is called Hell, and it's a part of the uh, the next version of this brush pack, and it just explodes with color. So if you want to create like a hellish landscape, there you go. That's like three seconds. And then we add a little bit of detail with the confusion. Let's do orange. So what I'm doing is I'm doing light strokes and then I'm pushing down a little bit and that just sort of creates these pockets of explosion where the shapes appear. Yeah, this is all done in one layer right now. Um, usually I, I separate the colors and the shapes uh, based on layers. Um, that just makes it easier if you if you need to move things around and stuff like that. But yeah, I like to create these all on a single layer. You don't need to use the, uh, the drawing guide necessarily. You can, for example, do, let's do disbelief, for example. And let's just zoom out a little bit. And I'm just going to render the area that I want the brush to appear into. Something like this. And then I'm going to press down. So I'm doing very light strokes right now to create the area that we want it to appear into. And then now I'm going to press a little bit harder down. It creates an explosion there. A little bit harder down. A little bit harder down. Pushing down. Something like this. Okay. Now let's switch to orange. Let's create a new layer for this to separate those. I'm going to do the same thing, uh, but let's do another, another thing. Let's do shattered space for this one, the one on the top. Same thing, draw in the area. And then when I'm ready, I can press a little bit down. And these are uh, way too saturated right now, so I'm just going to Draw over them to desaturate them. Okay. 
got some blue yellow and a little bit of pink what should we use for pink uh, let's do think inside just a smidge of pink here so Cypherus says my explanation would be it's like you took a piece of etched glass and then dumped fluorescent paint on the glass and wiped away the extra that didn't stick to the scratches. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, I see what you mean. Yeah, totally. Mysterious brushes. Mysterious. Um, how do we purchase the brushes? There's a link in the description if you want to purchase them. There's also a giveaway happening. Let me know when they, like, if there are no brushes available uh, left in the giveaway. I can probably add some more. Smudged confetti. Yeah. Smudged confetti. So now what we can do is we can take yeah, we can take the liquify tool and we can obviously just do a bit of distortion. Smudge them around. You can also you can also choose two layers at once and liquefy them. So if you want uh, the same effect to be happening on two layers, that is possible. Yeah. I'm not really sure where this one is going, so let's just go crazy. Let's just do something crazy. Fleeting thoughts. Okay, so these are sort of the main brushes that I tend to call the impossible brushes. The, those, uh, these ones that uh, you have to draw in the area and then uh, use pressure to to blow them out. Um, I'm working on one right now. It's called Thor, and it just creates Thor's hammer that you can use. Some interesting ways. So I'm actually drawing with Thor's hammer right now. But it's just mixed with these crazy effect. And you see every time that it overlaps an area that already has paint on it, or you know, um, color on it, it changes color. So where it overlaps, it changes color. And I've been using that in some of the other brushes in this pack. For example, um, this one right here. Super interesting looking brush. So we just draw something like this. And let me just draw over this line right now. You see it changed to black there. And if we choose another color, I had yellow, and now we got green. I 
Thank you for this. It's wonderful. Oh, I'm so glad you like it. So another question that I had is, how would you say these compare to traditional presses? How would you com how would you compare them to traditional presses? It's probably a better better way. It's a butterfly, yeah. It's a nice looking butterfly. And some overflow. You had a clipping mask. So if you're just joining in right now, there is a giveaway happening for these presses. You can pick them up. Links in the description. So you want to try out, see what they're all about. You can do that. Also, if you if you make something cool, I would love to see what you make. So either tag me on Instagram. I think there's a link uh, in the description. Or to hashtag impossible presses. A friend of mine asked me, can you, like, <laughs> what's the purpose of these presses? Can you make like a face? Can you, uh, can you create a portrait image? And I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure you can. I don't know if I could, but if you are able to create a portrait using these brushes, please tag me because I would love to see that. Can you export Procreate layers into Illustrator? Yeah, I think, I think you can do that. You just export as JPEG or and import it into Illustrator. It's not going to be uh, rasterized, but you'll have them at least. Maybe you can trace over them in Illustrator. Here's one called Not HP Pencil. So everything below this brush right here is, um, is a part of the Impossible Brush Pack, but I wouldn't call these Impossible Brushes in the same, same manner as the ones above, but they are quite interesting. Error 404 or 414. Um, that one is it's very sort of subtle. So if you need, if you just need to create a little bit of ambience and place something in the middle right here. It's good for that. Overflow, it's good for this sort of glitzy cloud effect. Pepper, this, this sort of thing. See, sort of glitzes where it meets other colors. Salt is very Similar to pepper, it's just more meant for fine lines. Broken pen, that's an interesting one. So let's say just we choose a white color and start drawing. To me, this sort of mimics a broken pen. Um, a pen that is, you'd probably throw away if it did this on your, on your 
nice paper. So. Works really well with drawing assist as well. Oops, sorry. So that was the broken pen. Not 8B pencil. Yeah, um, that's a work in progress as well, but <laughs> maybe you can help me find a better name for it. It's It does this sort of thing. Uh, almost flame looking, very saturated. And if I do very hard down, it explodes into this sort of, does this sort of effect. So, you can maybe start from the edges, doing very hard strokes. Let me know in the comments in the chat if there's anything you anything specific that you would like to see or explain. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep drawing. Thank you for the free press that can't wait to use them. You're welcome, you're welcome. Let me know how you use them. I'm very curious. 
So I just like to draw these sort of abstract stuff like this. So I'm super curious if you're going to use it for anything specific. If you find a use case that I haven't seen before, I'd love to know. So again, you can tag me on Instagram if you make something. I always check my Instagram if, uh, if I'm tagged. So well, yeah, that's, uh, I think I've talked about this one before. 3D path brush. Yeah, this one's kind of interesting. So this was my attempt to to see what happens if I spend as much time on the shape source as on the brush itself. So typically the shape uh, is, let me just show you. So typically the shapes are something like this. So I wanted to see if, if I could create a three dimensionality using very bright highlights here and dark highlights here. And what happens when you draw with them is you see this, it's almost like there's a, a light source happening right here. Let me just show you if I draw white. Yeah, it's almost like there's a light source happening right here. And, but yeah, <laughs> but all of this is just, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, like seven, eight strokes. And, uh, this brush gives tie dye effect. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so now we're getting to Berg. Um, but it's pretty cool. It's kind of similar to the to the Doctor Symmetry, Doctor Symmetry brush from the, the Art and Design brush set here, version four. Um, but I did change it in a number of ways, which makes it, I think, deserving to be in this package. So first of all, it does have the same sort of um, glitzy color dynamic. So if you go over an area, it, it changes the color of that area. And it is sort of glitzy on the edges. It's very flowy. And it allows us to create very cool shapes. Yeah, that was one stroke. Let's see what we can do with just one stroke. So that's Barak. Really good for this sort of this sort of stuff. The next one is new. And you see it's just a single line that might give you an indication of what it does.
So for this one, I really like to create sort of motions. I like to do it in motion, so do something like this. There's a lot of practice to get it right. A lot of See all this detail. I mean, how how long would it take to draw this traditionally? Just tuning in, we do have a giveaway happening right now for these purses. So if you're interested, you can check those out. Links in the description. This could almost be a logo. For like a gaming team or something. Oops. This is amazing. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Of course, you can use all of these brushes on their own. You don't need to use the... the what's it called? Drawing guide, right? You try making a fish. <laughs> um, sure, Namia. Let's see if we can make a fish. So I'm going to change the drawing guide from a quadrant to as to a horizontal. And let's see, start here. Gonna be a weird fish though. again as you can see there's sometimes a bit of trial and error to using this there we go a fish 
Let's give him some nice eyes. And a big smile. Uh, thanks, Renamir, for that. That was a good prompt. So soothing. Nice. Can you play Yaya Ding Dong? Well, good question. Good question. Um, yes, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> um, so the last one in... in the pack that I haven't shown before here, I think, is Doctor Strange. And yeah, it's it's strange. So what it's comprised out of is a sort of light source which darkens the shape that is above it. So this is the shape that is above it, and this light source creates a dark area inside so you can see there's a light source don't use this one a whole lot but it's interesting I can I don't know Yeah, Doctor Strange, it's there if you want to try it out. See if you can make something cool with it. Um, my favorite ones probably are, yeah, some of the new ones. I love Confusion. Absolutely love it. Super, super, super simply. I'm gonna switch to quadrant. Just love drawing in quadrant. Super, super simply. Confusion sort of draws for you. Because you, if you just do light strokes, you can both draw and you can erase. If you press a little bit harder down, it creates an explosion like so. And with the drawing assist on, thank you for the press set. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah, thanks for the volcano presses. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Oh my god, seeing that volcano up close. I don't know what we're thinking. <laughs> it was like two days after. If you if you haven't seen the volcano video, I highly check, suggest checking that out. So me and my friend we went to an active volcano here in Iceland. It like it just erupted like two days earlier, and. Me and my friend were like, okay, we have to go see this. Because we we heard that there were some people going to see it. Um, and it's this volcano right here, so. Oh. This one right here. In fact, two days old uh, crater. And uh, we were probably, I want to say like 40 meters from it. It's just crazy, absolutely crazy. <laughs> and yeah, right now it's just a huge, huge field of lava. Where we were standing is just underneath the lava and there were like, I don't know how many craters uh, that have formed. Um, but all of these brushes that are in the volcano brush set, they were actually created from 
the actual volcano. So uh, the day-old lava is actually created from day-old lava. The, you see the, the grain right here. This is actually one day-old lava. Lava rocks is created from lava rocks, etc. So it's just a super, super... Yeah, it's just a huge amount of fun. Yeah, that's the volcano perspective. This one's free, so anyone can go ahead and check that out. But that's not what this is. Um, this live stream is about. We're trying with the impossible press pack. Uh, yeah, the video was inspiring. Scary, but inspiring. Yeah, it was very scary to film. <laughs> my, yeah, I asked my friend, like, you know, like this is... I mean... It, it's very dangerous, right? You're standing on top of a volcano. And he's like, yeah, but like when you think about it, it's not that dangerous. Like, we are on an active volcano that just erupted two days ago, and it's spewing lava up in the air right in front of us. We're like 40 meters from it. How is that not dangerous? It's like, yeah, when you put it that way. Yeah, yeah. So we didn't stay there any longer than was uh, than we needed. It was just uh, breathtaking. Yeah, Thor. This was a lot of fun. Um, I wanted to be able to draw with Thor's hammer because my name is Thor Gear, and Thor is in my name. So. I want to be able to... This one's really random, so you have to give it a couple of tries. But like once, once in a while you'll see like uh, Viking runes. If we can get that. There we go, yeah. So you see the runes right there. Oh, sorry. Okay, okay, okay. So I've been drawing for a while now. Um, let's see the chat. Uh, really looking forward to playing with all of these Love so many of your precious, your work, and your generosity. Thank you so much, Danny Arnold. It really means a lot to, to me to hear that. I want to make brushes that, that when you try, they surprise you every time. That's my, that's my goal. And that is the culmination of, of, of that is the impossible brush pack. It's, Every single time that I use these brushes, they, they just surprise me. What type of iPad do I use? This is the iPad Pro 2018 version. So the probably the standard iPads these days um, are probably as powerful as this one. I'm pretty sure. You don't need the, the, the newest iPad Pro for, for this. With a with a laser sensor and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. I mean, put this on some trousers, on a t-shirt, and you've got a really good design. 
bright, colorful. Nice. We can also take the blue ones here, duplicate it, and let's just reduce the opacity. Crystals. Watch your tutorials for learning Procreate. They help me learn. Yeah, I'm really glad. I'm really glad. Um, I'm planning to update the the tutorials. Some of them are a couple of years old now, and there are a lot of new features in Procreate. So I'm working on that. For example, if we do camera up, <laughs> yeah, so many new features in progress. And in the upcoming Procreate update, it looks like they're adding 3D to it. So you'll be able to paint on three-dimensional objects, navigate, you know, really uh, add textures to 3D objects. That's going to be really, really interesting. One app that already does this is, let me see if I can find it, this one, Sandbrush 3. I expect it to be similar to this one. So if we... Right here, you see, like this is a three dimensional object, and we can just paint on it. It's going to be interesting to see how Procreate implements this feature. Paint on lamp. There's a lot of fun drawing with this app. Send brush three. Surprise me brushes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's absolutely a sense of surprise to them. Unpredictability, randomness. Um, I've asked this before on the chat, but uh, there's a lot of new people. If you were to describe these brushes over telephone to your friend, what would you say? Like, how would you explain these brushes? And in a way that it was clear that you're not talking about just any, any sort of, you know, anything like this, just a normal painting brush. What would you say to your friend? Can you do one with pink, aqua, and jade green? Pink, aqua, and jade green. Yes. Okay, sure. Let's switch things up a little bit. Let's do rotational symmetry. I'll do radial now. Mm 
pink, aqua, and jade green. We can do. Um, oh yeah, let's do pearl on that one. Oh, if you have any um, suggestions of what to draw, any colors or any shapes or whatever, let me know. Let's do more pink. So pink is where the shadows are. Surprise me, process. Yeah, more of blue green. Okay, more blue green coming up. Yeah, so now we're getting kind of saturated because we've drawn over this area so many times. Yeah, kaleidoscope, definitely. It's very kaleidoscopic. Let's try the same thing with confusion. And let's do. Oh, drawing assist. Procreate, is it free or a paid app? It's a paid app. Only cost like $9 or something, $10. It's not a huge deal and you own it forever. So it's not like a subscription model. Again, links to this in the description. Do have a giveaway happening right now, so if you want to pick this up for free, links in the description. Could be a flower, yeah. I mean, definitely, definitely. So one thing that you could do is 
to distort. We could just place it somewhere like this to warp. And we're just going to pick up right here. Something like this. And now if we liquefy it a little bit with the edge, oh. remove the drawing assist. So I'm curious also, um, what time is it where you are? And where are you located? Because I think it's, what is it? Half past three for me. Good for cryptocurrency, <laughs> yeah, to make uh, NFTs, yeah, sure. Yeah, you could definitely turn these into NFTs. And, you know, of course you could also, if you're turning this into NFTs, um, you could do the, oh, what was it? Animation assist. Animation says so. And we do liquefy a little bit. Hold, liquefy. I'm not an animator. You could probably do a million times better job than this, but just to sort of give you an idea. Can definitely make these things come alive. Canvas settings, if I may ask. It's 8, 8 p.m. for AI, AE designs. Mm -hmm. Okay, Turkey, half past five. I'm in Iceland. Yeah. Do you take PayPal? Uh, yes. I think Gumroad accepts PayPal, if I'm, if I'm correct. So the links to the brushes are in the description. Uh, <laughs> we will earn millions selling these for NFT. Yeah, 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 absolutely. But isn't the NFT bubble gone? Like, uh, are people still buying it? Probably like any market. Probably uh, the initial hype has faded, but there are still obviously artists selling there, I would expect. I haven't been really paying attention to NFTs. Um, Oil slick brush from another pack. Sure. So discount. Yes, uh, right now the the presses are free. If you're watching the stream, if you use the code in the description, you can get these for free. Let me know if they're already sold out uh, or not. Um, but there's going to be discount for these presses for the whole week. 
So one of the questions were the canvas settings. So one thing about these brushes is that if you have a really big canvas, uh, the brushes are really, they get really small. So you have to scale them up if you want to use them. They're still, you know, fairly detailed, so it's fine, but um, it is possible to tweak them by increasing the maximum size. Do it your own um, discretion. If you're gonna mess with the settings, I recommend duplicating them. And then you go and see what happens if I increase the maximum size of both of these. This one is at max. Doesn't do a whole lot. Well, maybe a little bit. The thing about it is the brushes don't scale with the canvas. So if you have a huge canvas, you're going to have the same sized brush relative scale, um, or not relative to the canvas. So if you have a very, very small canvas, then the brush is going to be really big. So let's do 1920 by 1080. If we use the same sized brush, you see, we just instantly fill the page. And 19, 1920 by 1080, this is the standard size of, um, well, yeah, this is 1080p, essentially. I want to say standard size, but uh, there are so many different sizes of, of mobile devices and screens these days. I use a 2560 by 1440 screen, but just make sure that you have, if you're using this, to have a relatively, well, just, ma just make sure that uh, you draw in a, on a scale that you can use them. So if, if you do, if you, if you need to make an artwork that is huge, like a, a3 plus or a, even a bigger um, and it might be a good idea to start with it zoomed in making the artwork there and then you can scale it up if you need more detail you can either liquefy the edges and make it more detailed or you know you can add more detail like so just after effect Get the get the general layout, and then add to it. It's an idea. Where we buy the brush? In the description of this video, or this live stream, there is a link. How did you create the blocky effect a few minutes ago? I think you used the fractured space. So the blocky effect is probably shattered space. Fractured space is this sort of um, this sort of thing. Just go back to this. So this is fractured space. It's a lot of fun if you use it with the symmetry, but shattered space, that's this one. Yes, $15, not free. Yeah, yeah, you need to use the code, yeah. If you use the code, um, it's gonna be free. So this brush pack will, will be free during this live stream. If you're watching this in the future, uh, you can still use the 30, uh, no, I think it's 50% discount. It's kind of, a, I'm gonna have a 50% discount 
uh, throughout the whole week. So you can try them out. And if you do happen to make something with these brushes, please tag me on Instagram. I always check my check my mentions there. All right. Um, somebody mentioned the oil slick brush. I think from this one. Yeah, this one's just a. This is definitely what I call a traditional paint brush. You have the paint here, and you can drag it. It's like you have a, a physical paint brush. And you can definitely use the oil slick brush in combination with the impossible brush pack. Um, let's say we do this one. You know. Definitely create some interesting effects. Okay, so um, I think I'm gonna call it at that. Maybe I'm gonna draw one more image and then we're done. So what should we choose? I'm going to use the new ones. Start with hell. Do I take payment by PayPal? Uh, the payment system is all handled by Gumroad. And I think they take PayPal. I'm pretty sure they take PayPal. At least they pay me through PayPal. So, yeah, it should be, should be possible. When I put the code for impossible giveaway, it gives me wrong. Um, one sec, I'll see if I can fix that. So it's impossible dash giveaway. If you use that, you can get it for free. Um, all small letters, impossible dash giveaway. I just added a couple of more brushes. So if you're trying and you didn't, yeah, okay, you should be able to get them now. Just added a few other brushes. All right. Well, thank you all so much for joining me. It was a pleasure hanging out with you. Hope we can do this more. Um, I'll be making a video about the Impossible Brush Pack, a tutorial kind of video where I show how to use it. But I uh, hope you have a wonderful rest of the day and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, it worked. Okay, see so you're having issues. It works. Great. All right. Thank you, everybody.